Today, my friends, you join me on the penultimate episode of my Terraria Yo-Yo playthrough. My name is Python, this is the 17th episode of my Yo-Yo playthrough, and welcome back, my friends. Today, we are doing the two endgame events, or old-school endgame events, the Pumpkin Moon and Frost Moon. As you can see, I've got all of the materials I require in order to make the summoners to do exactly those two events. So here we go, let's have a bit of that. Now let's have a bit of that. Alright, so we're going to do the pumpkin first because uh, it's slightly easier than the frost moon in my humble opinion. And uh, yeah, everything should hopefully go well. We do of course have an epic Eye of Cthulhu yo-yo and I really don't see a reason why it shouldn't just decimate everybody. Like quite literally, it should absolutely destroy everybody. But uh, yeah, in the last episode we obtained the Kraken, which is pretty freaking sweet, which leaves... Only the Terrarian in terms of yo-yos that we can easily obtain. Now, if we manage to get the Traveling Merchant to spawn in and he is selling the Code 1 and Code 2 yo-yo or either or, then we will, of course, get them. But, like I keep saying, if we don't manage to get them by the end of the series, we're not going to make a special effort to try and get them, okay? So, we're going to leave them out if the Traveling Merchant doesn't sell the uh, the Code 1 or Code 2 if, you know, he's not around before the series finishes. And, uh, yeah, next episode will be the series finisher whereby we take down the cultists, the pillars, and the moon lords and keep farming them out until we get the terrarium. That is the plan anyway. So, yes, today is going to be the day where we just do action. Do action. Loads of action, my friends. Loads of action. It's going to be amazing. Hopefully, you guys are looking forward to it. I sure am. In the meantime, we do have some stuff we can be doing in that uh, we could be going ahead and making ourselves some potions which could prove to be kind of useful and let's have a bit of that and that should pretty much do it actually so okay let's just go ahead and quick stack those and as you can see we now have ourselves a crap ton of potions uh, let's go and get them uh the angler has arrived back okay kind of cool uh what else have we got going on around here teleportation potion mana regen potion not useful in the slightest okay so we're gonna have these four potions Really? Is that it? Is that all we're going to have? I'm just thinking there's something else we can do. I'm pretty damn sure of it. Uh, hmm. Bones. Do we have any bones? That is the question. If we have bones, I might be able to make some titan potions, which could prove to be kind of useful. Uh, let me just head up here real quick. And bones? Do we have the bones? Uh, bones! And uh, you know what? I could have sworn we had some bones in the last episode, you know? I don't know, man. There's somewhere around here. Uh, I'm just being a blooming dimwit because I can't find them apparently. I'm, I, I don't even know, dude. Oh, they're already in here. Okay, so we're obviously missing a different potion ingredient in order to make them. Okay, cool. Right. Anyways, guys, we're going to go ahead and wait for night time to roll around. We're going to take down the pumpkin noon and whatnots around here. As you can see on my mini map, I actually filled in the nearby mini, you know, dead-ended cave with dirt. Just so nobody will wind up getting trapped down there in terms of spawns. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to be doing it around here. And really, the main places they're going to spawn is going to be, like, at our houses... Uh, left hand side here, maybe in this little ant hill right here. That would kind of suck, wouldn't it? But uh, anyways, yeah, we're going to go ahead and wait for night time to roll around and then we'll get on with this. Let's do it. And here we are, folks. The time has come to get the pumpkin moon underway. Let's do it, folks. So it should be pretty interesting to see just how far we managed to get with just a yo-yo. Normally, I wind up using... Oh, what the... You! You are not part of the pumpkin moon there, Wyvern. Get out of here, dude. What the hell? <laughs> uh, I kind of find it funny that regular mobs are still spawning. I've always found it weird how in this world, this particular part of the world is high enough to the point where harpies and wyverns spawn, you know? I, just, I don't know. I just find it kind of crazy. All right, those guys are all dead. We seem to be doing a very solid amount of damage to everybody, around 200 or so each time. 368 crit damage. That is very nice. Uh, uh, yeah. 356. Oh, what is going to be the highest amount of crit damage we can achieve from this pumpkin moon? Tis the question. 378. I saw 424. Oh, kill him. 400, 448. Oh, I'm seeing him. <laughs> All about the numbers. Oh, so 448. We need to try and beat that. Can we do that? Tis the question. If we had banners, then for sure we'd be able to do it. We'd probably be doing like 600 crit damages. Because the damage increase you get from having banners is actually kind of crazy. It really is. It nearly doubles your weapon's damage for the most part. So, yeah. Alright. Oh, we've got a... Wait, what? We've got a scarecrow banner already? Holy crap. Huh. I'm actually tempted to start putting them down. One, two, three, boom. Alright, and boom. Let's do it, folks. Time to kick some ass. 590. Ooh, killing him, dude. 
Uh, yes, Scarecrow. Oh, okay. Pretty cool. Where the hell is everybody? No, no one seems to be coming around here. And it's rather annoying, because I can't progress if there's no one here. It's stupid, isn't it? No, for real, man. There's, like, no one freaking here. This is stupid. This is stupid. I am very triggered right now. How can there not be any spawns? You there! Who's that one? Get the hell out of here. Okay, so we've seen 590 as our highest crit damage so far. I wonder how high we could actually make it go. Uh, Alright, wave four! Alright, now we're gonna get the big boss dude spawning in. 618 crit damage! Damn, son! That's a lot, isn't it? <laughs> wow. Okay, right, uh, all of you guys are getting destroyed. There you go, brother. Uh, hmm. Should we try and guess? Should we try and guess what banner we're gonna get next? I'm thinking... I'm thinking splinterling. What do we think? Are we gonna get the splinterling banner next? I've got a feeling we might, you know? I don't know. Alright, uh, 8,000. Yeah, this is doing a very nice amount of damage against these boss dudes. Oh, wow. I'm barely taking any damage. Holy crap. I haven't even put my bloom and buff potions on. I should probably do that, huh? That'd be a good idea. Alright, let's keep it going. Come on, man. Splinterling, don't let me down. Seriously, the amount of wyverns around it. Get out of here. Oh, a spooky hook. Interesting. Get out of here. Get out of here. Why you do this? Come on, man. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get far in this event, dude. You're not making it easy, are you? What the hell? Apparently my uh, NPCs are getting in on the action too. They didn't want to be left out. <laughs> That's kind of funny, actually. Hey, buddy. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, man, there's fire everywhere. Fire. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, buddy. Come on, dude. You're going down there, sonny. I'm going to put this thing on because why not? It's going to be better than my jewel hook, right? At least I hope it is. Hey there, buddy, and you are dead. Lol. You can't take me down there, sunshine. I'm sorry, man. It's just not going to happen. Oh, lordy, lordy, there's a lot of guys around here. Hello, poltergeist. You freaking suck, dude. Come oh, on, man. You're a bunch of freaking jokers. Yeah. Go on in, buddy. Hellhound. Do you know what would be really cool is off on the last episode, we got the Terrarian first time. Because if I get the Terrarian first time, then uh, we could, you know, we could properly farm out the Moon Lord <laughs> like a true professional. Oh, right, here we go. Hey! You see, what we need to do in order to maximize the yo-yo's effectiveness is we really need the two morning woods to be, like, right next to each other. Like this! There we go. That's perfect. Yeah! Look at that! Okay! We're taking quite some damage now, folks. All right, and... He is done. All right, cool! All right, let's get back over here. Let's kill all these guys real quick. Oh, God! The pumpkins have spawned in. Okay, and there's another Wyvern. Wyvern, you're not helping this situation, buddy. I'm sorry, but you're just not. Man, I wish I wish the Souls of Flight sold for a ridiculous amount. I'd, I'd be farming Wyverns out for days if that was the case, you know? Okay. Oh, crap. I forgot. If we die, it's medium core. We're going to lose all our stuff. Oh, Jesus. We need to be more careful, man. For real. Holy. And this guy's almost dead. Uh, make that present tense. He is dead. Uh, I want that heartage. Give me that heartage back. Seriously, Wyvern, go away. <laughs> Why you do this? You're freaking stalking me, bro. Hey, get out of here. Oh, spooky twig. Interesting. We can make bat wings out of that, right? Or spooky wings? They're very, very good hard mode wings, essentially. That's 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 uh, why I'm so hyped about that. That's pretty damn cool. All right, and yet another Wyvern. What the hell is going on? Seriously, there's so many Wyverns. This is ridiculous. I don't know what's going on, man, but this is kind of ridiculous. I oh, hey, yeah, I get murked. Yeah. Ah, oh, what's going down, peeps? Uh, not a lot. They're invading my house spaces, which is not appreciated. Can you, like, go away and stuff? I don't want my dude dying, all right? All right, go on. Get out of it, all of you. All right, you as well. Come on. Freaking jerk, man. Freaking pumpkin. I'm taking you down with an Eye of Cthulhu yo-yo, bro. Oh, man. Imagine me taking you down with a freaking Terrarian. Yeah. Although, we've already done that before in our Python Place Terrarian playthrough, I do believe. So, uh, yeah. We don't need to do this event again after we've done it. It's just to say that we've done it, you know. That's uh, kind of the point of the series. We want to try and take down all bosses and all events with yo-yos only. So, yeah. And yet another Wyvern. Damn, how is going on? There's so many wyverns. It's ridiculous. There are plumbing harpies everywhere as well. Get out of here. Why you do these? Why? I'm just a man on a UFO with a yo-yo, bro. There's nothing to be freaking mad about, you know? I'm more, look at these guys. They're everywhere. Oh, hello, 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 hello. And shredded. Boom. Wrecked. All right, what are you giving me? Nothing. Great. All right, we've got these freaking jokers now. Oh, god damn it. You see, that's the thing with a pumpkin moon. As soon as the pumpkins spawn in, you have to focus them down. Otherwise, he's just going to destroy your ass. That's just how it is. I'm sorry. But, uh, yeah. 
Like, you can't focus on anything else apart from pumpkin as soon as they start spawning in, so that's a thing. There is a uh, there is a morning wood below me, which I would like to take down. All right, here we go. Let's take down all these small guys as well. There we go. And yet again, there he is. Ah! Oh! So many dudes. Alright, wave 10 is the wave that we're at. We have around two minutes left of this event. You see, I think the problem with yo-yos is they're not quite as good as some other weapons in terms of crowd control on the early waves. Uh, so, for example, I don't know. What weapons are really good for crowd control? Razor Pine's pretty damn good if you've got the right setup. Uh, the, ter the Terrarian, you know, anything that does... You know, piercing damage is really, really good for these events because it will just pierce everybody on the floor and kick their ass. It's just how it is. Hey there, buddy. You're going to give me a pumpkin mask, right? Nope. Dang it. All right, let's get this guy at the game really quick. This is going to topple us over to wave 11. And, uh, yeah, after this, we will, of course, progress straight onto the pumpkin moon to see how we do. If we can not die, that would be fantastic because I'm not about to get caught in a death loop on our penultimate episode. That would be really embarrassing, wouldn't it? All right, come on. And destroyed. Anything? Nope. Absolute diddly freaking squat, dudes. Hey, buddy. And get destroyed. Get destroyed. I'm just taking down all these small guys right now real quick. All right. Come on, then. Come on, then. Why is there... Huh, there's no more pumpkins spawning in. This is kind of weird. I normally have that happen. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. You just couldn't resist not coming to the party, could you? Hey. You have to be part of every party, don't you? If we can take over. You're, you're, you're a freaking gate crasher. The pumpkin is the gate crasher of this freaking event. That's just how it is. He's just like, hey, bros, I'm going to come in and destroy your butt, dude. I don't care who else is here. Oh, what the hell? Go get out of here. Oh, a raven staff. Interesting. Okay. Oh, and now uh, we have multiple bosses. I don't think we're going to get further than wave 12 if we even get to that, that is. All right, come on there, brother. And that one's dead. This one would give us wave 12, I do imagine. So here we go. Let's just destroy this guy. And yeah, wave 12 is going to be our limit, unfortunately. It would be really cool if we got further than that, but it's just not going to happen, is it? All right, so yeah, we've got about 10 seconds left. There's no point in even me trying to focus down this guy. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, continue taking down some of these guys at the bottom here. If I can, that is... Oh, God, there's two of them! There's two of them, yeah, too damn right you get the hell out of here, you freaking jokers, invading my world like that. What the hell, man? Ah, well, most of my guys actually survived. I'm actually kind of surprised about that. <laughs> oh, look at that, there's some souls down there. I kind of want to go grab them, because why not? I mean, there's gold coins down there, at the very least. All right, cool. All right, well, we didn't do too bad there, did we? Certainly didn't die, and we got to wave 12, so, yeah, I mean... You know, no complaints and all that. I'm, I'm pretty damn happy with uh, how far we managed to get. Yeah. And we got all this sweet ass Wonga. In other words, money. Yeah, look at him, man. 98 gold. Ooh, kill him. That's a lot, isn't it? All right, let's go, uh, let's go chuck our stuff away real quick. Uh, we can twig, cursed sapling. Oh, no, I want the lizard egg. I, I very much rather prefer the lizard egg because I think it's rarer, actually, so... Yes, that's kind of awesome. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put the stuff in here just in case you guys maybe want to go ahead and, uh, you know, have them a little later. Uh, feather, and uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and do the whole quick stacking dealio. Maybe we'll put down the banners as well. And uh, yeah, I guess it'll be time to get straight onto the Frost Moon just to see how far we get. Hopefully, we can get a pretty decent way along, I guess. And there we go. All right, sweet. And let's put that down. Let's put that down. And yeah, we are literally just going to wait for the next night to roll around. Let's do it. Oh my god, gold bunny. Hey, buddy. How you doing, bro? <laughs> we got so many gold critters now. It's actually kind of crazy. All right, so yeah, welcome back, my friends. We are just about ready to take down the second event. We are against timer. We've got 10 seconds to place this thing down. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. You can go there. You can go there. And ladies and gentlemen, the time has come in three, two, one. The Frost Moon. Let's do it, folks. We got ourselves the Eye of Cthulhu once again. And now we're taking down freaking Christmas mobs. Merry Christmas in advance to all of you guys who are watching this video in the future. <laughs> Unless somehow it's Christmas in the world, you know, today. You know, the 23rd of February. I don't know. I'm pretty sure Christmas isn't, like, now. 
<laughs> I don't know. I've only been on this planet for 22 years. I'm pretty sure I know when Christmas is. So, yeah. Alright, cool. So, uh, yeah, we're just taking all these guys down. You see, the thing about the early waves of this particular event is the fact that you can easily progress through the waves just by killing the present mimics. For some reason, they count as a heck load of progress towards the wave. Look at that. Wave 4 already. And this one uh, almost took us up to wave 5 straight off the rip. Look at this, man. We're almost at wave 5 and we haven't even been going for one minute yet. And there we go. Wave 5. Not even gone for a minute yet. This is crazy, dude. Okay, so yeah. Frost Moon you can get through the early waves really, really easy. A lot easier than you can, can in the... Uh, in the, in the pumpkin moon, that is. And, uh, yeah, it's just it's just crazy. Look at that. 612 crit damage. Oh, Everscreams have started spawning in. I'm so, I'm so sad that they didn't add in any, like, yo-yo drops or any yo-yo related stuffs for these here, you know, original endgame events. The pumpkin moon and the frost moon. I keep saying original because they were. This was like the end of Terraria back in the day before the moon lord was around. You'd go ahead... And you try to see just how far you can get in the pumpkin moon and frost moon. And that's just how it is, really. Alright, so here we go. We've got these guys right here. Alright, let's see if we can take them down real quick. Oh, oh, he fell down. Hey, come back here, you freaking wussy. What the? Can he even get back up now? Oh, he can, okay. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Let me just have some of that sweet heartage real quick. I ain't about to die like that. Come on then, brother. All right, and there we go. Oh, there's a second one already spawned in. What the hell? There's already multiple Everscreams spawning in? This is crazy. Oh, no, Elfcopters. Oh, I hate these guys so much. Oh, these guys trigger me so much. I hate the Elfcopters. Oh, the worst mob in Terraria, in my humble opinion. Oh, God. This might actually be kind of difficult, dudes. I might need to go and use the nurse real quick. Hey, buddy. Uh, heal. Yes. You're not killing me there soon. All right, let's get back to it. Ah, here we go. Now we can do more damage to him. Look at this. Look at this. Destruction. Destruction of the trees. I am... Well, Greenpeace would be very annoyed with me right now. Let's be honest. Wait, what the hell is going on? Oh, what the hell? We got a freaking sandstorm event? Yo, bro, this isn't cool. Hey. This isn't cool. Well, it's not cool. It's very hot, isn't it? Because it's this, the this freaking desert. Oh, I'm so good at jokes. Not really. All right, boom. 400 crit damage, 412 I saw there. Uh, I don't know which one's easier to take down. I mean, this guy has his gun attack and the freaking annoying ass, uh, you know, him shooting up presents into the air attack. Uh, but then Everscream has more sort of quicker ranged attacks, I guess. I don't know. I think they're just about, you know, equally annoying, you know. I don't know, maybe that's just my opinion. 504 crit damage I saw there. Awesome. That's because I've got a banner going here. Hey there, buddies. Uh, I need to take all these freaking archer dudes down because they are a massive pain in my butt. Let's keep it going. 7,000, 6,000, 5,000, 4,000, 3,000, 2,000. Oh, God, everybody's dead. Boom. Get wrecked. All right. Who wants to go next? Anybody over here? Come on, then, you freaking archer jokers. Yeah. All right. What's going on? More nutcrackers. I'll freaking crack your nuts. What are you on about, son? Like, right, get off me. All right, elfcopters and more harpies. <laughs> I still don't understand why there's so many harpies. <laughs> it's ridiculous, dude. Hey, you there. Stop terrorizing my peeps, dude. That's that's just rude. I need to take these guys out as well. Come on, man. Get out of the house. You shouldn't even be in there. I don't know how they even got up there. That's kind of interesting, actually, how they managed to get up there. All right, Krampus. Freaking Krampus. It's funny because before this game, I had never ever heard of Krampus as, as like a, a like a fairy tale or anything like that. It's, I don't know. I don't know. I really just didn't know about Krampus. Like, if you were bad at Christmas, then you would get, you know, Krampus would come steal your toys, something like that. I don't know. I don't know the exact lore behind Krampus, but I don't know. For some reason, I just never heard of him before, and that's just how it is. And boom, dead. I need these hearts. Ooh, there we go, son. I need all the hearts, really. All right, let's take all of them. And let's get that guy. Mr. Krampus is coming along again. All right, so how's it going? We have about four minutes left of this particular event, and then we are indeed done for this episode and indeed the event as well. Oh, that kind of hurt. Oh, no, I can't do that. The sandstorm is uh, restricting my movement speed, and it's actually kind of annoying. Oh, boy. I am running out of health. Come on. If I could take him down... There you go, brother. All right, now to take these guys down, and I might be able to get some hearts that are on the ground here. Ooh, we got a chain gun. Ooh, 
Okay, time to use the nurse. Hey, buddy. Hi. Hi, Caitlin. Thank you very much for the health, indeed. I appreciate it there, buddy. You know what would be cool if we had 500 health, but uh, apparently I haven't even bothered to do that yet in this playthrough. <laughs> Oh, dear. oh well, uh, maybe before the next episode starts, I'll go ahead into the jungle and uh, see what kind of things go on and see if we can't get ourselves 500 health. That'd be super awesome. But uh, yeah, you've seen me farm many, many times in the jungle before, so I just don't think it's something you guys would enjoy watching. So I'm probably just going to get them off camera, bring you guys into the next episode, the final episode, and then, uh, you know, just start off the episode, go into 500 health, and then uh, pursuing the Moon Lord, you know? Oh, yeah. I've got to be honest, though, I'm actually kind of nervous about the Moon Lord fight because I've never taken him down with an Eye of Cthulhu yo-yo before. I tend to do it with uh, slightly beefier weapons. I don't know, like like the like the Moon Lord, like pre-Moon Lord weapons, you know, the Celestial Pillar weapons, if you will. That's when I tend to go ahead and take him down. Once I've got like a Stardust Dragon and all that stuff, I'll be really, really interested to see how we do with just a yo-yo. No summons, no additional... What the... <laughs> No additional damage, just literally just the yo-yo. The OG yo-yo, all by itself, all by its lonesome. Alright, and this guy's almost dead. And present tense, he is dead. Alright, fantastic. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, there's festive rings, bro. <laughs> Yo, that's freaking epic. I'm putting these things on right now. Oh, wait, no, I'm not. That's got menacing on. I'm not getting rid of my uh, damage. Damage is good damage. All get all damage is good damage. That's just how it is. Alright, hey, buddy. Let's take down all of these. Uh, let's let's crack all these nutcrackers nuts. That'd be great. That sounds rude, doesn't it? I shouldn't be doing that. I should never ever do that in real life. Never go around cracking people's nuts. Unless it is an actual nut. In which case, you know, maybe they'll appreciate it. I don't know. Okay, I don't know. All right, here we go. Oh, just under two minutes remaining. I'm quite surprised we haven't had the Ice Queen spawn in yet. I thought we'd got further than this. All right, all right there's one. Uh, I am approaching death, if I'm not careful. All right, come on, bro. This guy is now done. Okay, sweet. And now we can pursue Santank. Wow. I really feel like... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, M M nursey, nursey, thank you, thank you, thank you, please. Thank you, thank you very much. I appreciate that, brother. All right, boom. Anything, nothing, no elf melters, no razor pines, nothing like that. I mean, we're not allowed to use them anyway, but it'd be kind of cool if we had some other drops. I can see some uh, pants down there, which is, you know, I don't know why I would want an elf's pants, which I've been wearing. I mean, that's just rude, dude. What the hell's up with that? Oh, God, this might kill me. Don't you dare! I gotta... No! Oh, Jesus! Okay. No! What? I thought... Oh, what the hell, dude? I thought they were taking down. Oh, wait, I should spawn right here, right? Oh, my God, I'm gonna get caught in a death loop. Oh, Jesus! I... Uh, I'm Cthulhu is not with me. I'm, I'm freaking dead, dude. Okay, uh, well, this is this is gonna be interesting, isn't it? Well, welcome back to the death loop cycle, friends. I can't see my Eye of Cthulhu yo-yo anywhere, so I'm just going to assume immediate death. And, uh, yeah. God damn it, man. <laughs> God freaking damn it. My Eye of Cthulhu is in, am in amongst that somewhere. I can't even get to it, dude. Yeah, I'm just... <laughs> There's no point, dude. There's no point in even me trying. I'm not going to... I'm not going to be able to do this, am I? So I'm just going to wait until this event is over. Oh, it is over. Okay. Hey! Hey! Yeah, you get out of it! What the hell, dude? What a jerk! He was like, hey man, it's daytime, but I, I, I gotta get in that one last kill just to, just to, just to get revenge on him. Man! How disrespectful, dude. That is just wrong. Yeah, there we go. Well, we got our stuff back for the most part, so I'm pretty happy with that. Get the hell out of here, freaking copper tools, you useless freaking jokers. Ah! Right, well, that's that all done. <laughs> oh man. Well, that's what happens when you do s stuff. We, we die. Yeah, that's great. All right, you can go away. Jeez, dude. Alrighty, guys. But anyways, that is going to just about wrap it up for this penultimate episode of the Yo-Yo playthrough. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy the episode and you're, of course, excited for the final episode, it's going to be a mega-sode. So it's going to be a longer one than normal, my friends. Be sure to drop a like rating if you're excited for it. And hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss that out either. I'll be super appreciated. But anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate your continued support as per the norm. And I will see you guys in the final episode.